Hi guys, welcome back to CMOS lecture series. In this session, we will discuss, we'll discuss about implementation of Boolean expression using CMOS. So, CMOS is a basic construction use case. We will Boolean expression. First, it is connected to VDD. And we are having dot operation to dot operations along with two addition operations. So, for PMOS, for addition operation, it should be connected in series and for dot operation, it should be connected in parallel. Similarly, for NMOS, for dot operation, it should be connected in series and for addition operation, NMOS should be connected in parallel. Keeping that in mind, here C plus D are in addition operation. So, for PMOS, C and D should be in series. C D in series and these two are in parallel. That is A should be in parallel with C and D. C, D. Again, A and B are performing dot operation. So, for P mass, A and B should be in parallel. And how this A, B and this A of C plus D are connected? That is using plus operation. So, for plus operation, for pull up network, that is P mass, it should be in series. So, again, we are having B here. And A here, and this is PMOS. So, pull up network is over here. Output is collected, and similarly, if you do pull down network, we can suggest quality. So, C plus D should be in parallel. C plus D should be in parallel. Okay. C this is D and C plus D should be in series with A. This is one part and A plus B should be again in parallel. So can you see this This is A, this is B, and we both should be grounded. Again, manamikad output anadi manaku this original output anadi radu. So again, we the output anadi manakikada y bar or sorry. So remove to remove that complement, we should connect an inverter circuit again here. So how inverter circuit is connected? To our well known, this is how we connect an inverter again. This is ground. Here we will be getting Y. Okay, we discuss about implementation of multiplexers using CMOS. So, first of all, what is multiplexer? So, multiplexer is a combinational circuit in digital electronics which takes 2 power n inputs and produce one output. So, one multiplexer is the digital electronics lo combinational circuit and it will be taking 2 power n inputs with n select lines and producing one output. This is n by 1 mux. Power n by 1. Now, now let us look after 2 by 1 multiplexer. So, for 2 by 1 multiplexer, we will be having 2 inputs 
I1 and I2, one select line and we are having output Y. Select line and output. When select line is 0, we will be having output I1. When select line is 1, we will be having output I2. So, this is control signal. Which input should be selected as output is decided by this select line. So, when S is 0, we will be having I1. And when S is 1, we will be having I2 as output. So, expression for y will be equal to s, s bar i1 plus s i2. When s is off state that is s bar is multiplied with i1 and when s is in on this is multiplied with i2 to get the output. So, to Im we have to implement this now. First CMOS is connected to VDD then we will be having pull up network. So, pull up network lo ikkada manaku rendu circuits that is SI1 and SI2 are performing addition operation. So, it should be in series and this will be S bar S bar I1 and yes i2 and we will be getting output here and for pull down network si1 and si2 will be in series and it should be in parallel that is S bar I1 and S I2. Again, this is connected to ground. We should remember that output will be complement for this. So, to get the original circuit. We need to connect again an inverter this will be final output y. Now let us look after how 4 by 1 multiplexer is implemented. So for 4 by 1 multiplexer There are four inputs D0, D1, D2, D3 and two select lines S0 and S1, S1 and S0 and having output Y. For when S, when we have S1 bar, S0, we have cell S0 bar. We will be having output as D naught. When S1 bar S naught, we will be having output as D1. For S1 S naught bar, we will be having output D2. For S1 S naught, we will be having D3. Therefore, Y will be equal to D naught. S1 bar S0 bar plus D1 S1 bar S0 plus D2 S1 S0 bar plus D3 S1 S0. This is the Boolean expression. So, we divide it into two parts. One is VDD pull up network followed with pull down network and here we will be having 
an inverter circuit VDD zero. Here we will be having final output. So first pull up network. Mana kawal sina motam output anadi EV. Kani mana pull up network separate pull up pull down network separate ga draw chest koni and we should combine here. So for pull up network D naught S1 S0 and this for in this boolean expression we are having 1 2 3 4 4 addition terms so 4 should be in series and D0 S1 S0 and this sub terms that is that should be in parallel since they are performing dot operation this is VDD like this again we are having three terms that is first one is d naught s1 bar and s naught bar again d1 s1 bar S not again followed with D two S one S not bar again the last one is Again followed by D2, S1 and S0 bar should be in parallel since it is PMOS. Similarly, D3, S1 and S0 should be in parallel and this is total is a pull up network and followed by pull down network. A pull down network lo end at day, D0, S1, S3, three components and the parallel lo on the reverse out there. Akkad parallel lo unna components anna ghi series lo and series lo unna components and then 1, 2, 3, 4. This sub circuits D1, S1 bar, S0 and they these 4 will be in par series here. Uh, these, these 4 are in series. So they will be parallel here. These 4. D0, S1 bar and S0 bar. D1 S1 bar S0, D2 S1 S0, D3 S1 S0. So these are in parallel. This is for today's lecture.